Somebody shout, there ain't but one that can destroy the enemies of God. The enemies of your life, even of this nation. His name is Holy Ghost. I don't need no Batman, Spider-Man, Superman, Uncle Sam. I don't need no Power Ranger. All I need is Holy Ghost. Somebody say Holy Ghost is enough. Luke 1, 34, the Bible said, Mary said to the angel, you can be seated if you can't stand it. Luke 1, 31 or 34, Mary said to the angel, how shall this be, seeing that I know not a man? The angel answered her and said, the Holy Ghost shall come upon you and the power of the Most High shall overshadow thee. And this holy thing that will be conceived in your virgin womb shall be called the Son of the Most High. She had a big howl. Thank y'all for staying because I'll wear a minstrel out. Don't, you ain't got to sit still either. Praise God. Hallelujah. She had a big howl in the angel of God, the messenger of God. And I'm no angel. My wife is here to testify to the truth of that. Come on, somebody. But I am his messenger sent here today. Come on, somebody. I'm not here to practice. I'm here on purpose. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm not here to just tell you another story about God. I'm here to tell you from God what the Holy Ghost has been saying. And I'm telling you, her how was answered from this messenger of God that was heavenly, this heavenly messenger, this message from God with a big Holy Ghost. Somebody shout how. Somebody shout the answer is Holy Ghost. How's this going to happen? How am I going to have a baby without first having been with a man? And the angel again said, the Holy Ghost is going to come upon you. Somebody say, the power that's the highest. The power that's exalted above every power. Come on, somebody. That has been known, is known, and will be known. Somebody say, the power of the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout, he shall come upon you. I'm telling you, if you'll ever let him come on you, I'm talking about the person of his power. I'm talking about more than some force, some, some feeling. I'm talking about a living being, a person, the same one that raised Christ from the dead. And if he dwell in you, amen, he'll touch your mortal body and quicken you by his spirit that dwells in you. Romans 8 and verse 11. Look at somebody beside you today and say, let the Holy Ghost handle it. Let the Holy Ghost touch you. Let him come on your life. Don't reject him. Don't resist him. If he gets in your stuff today, better known as sin. Don't reject him. Don't refuse him. Because as many as he loves, he'll chasten and rebuke. Come on, somebody. So be zealous and repent. Revelation 3 and verses 19. Come on, anybody hear the Holy Ghost? Luke 3 and 16, the Bible said, amen, through John the Baptist, there's one coming after me, the latches of whose shoes I'm not even worthy to unloose. He said, I baptize you with water under repentance, but there's one coming after me, amen, Glory to God, he's mightier than I am, and he'll baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Somebody say Holy Ghost and fire. I know some tag team and Facebook preachers, and sometimes they'll want to tag team with me. I had one inbox me from Arkansas the other day, and he said, Holy Ghost. Come on, I text back and fire. Let's don't forget about the fire. Somebody say the fire. Hallelujah. We think fire just means whoa, glory to God, jump and jerk. Praise the Lord God and step real high and shout real loud. But the fire there is nothing more than the conviction power, amen, that can only come from him. Hallelujah, it is him. Come on, somebody that convicts of sin. For the Bible said in 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verses seven, hallelujah, Jesus said it's expedient for you that I go away because if I don't go away, amen, God will not send the Spirit of God, won't send the Holy Ghost. He said, but if I go away, he'll send him. And listen what Jesus said about the Holy Ghost. He said in verses eight, when he has come, he will reprove the world of sin. See, we didn't shout loud on that. Look at your neighbor say, your first introduction to real Holy Ghost, an authentic anointing, the real power of God. The first thing he's gonna deal with always, because you must understand he's still holy. Somebody shout, Holy Ghost is holy. Anybody hear Holy Ghost? 
I'm telling you, he's, on, he's the only ghost. Uh, hey, man, you need to know about this weekend. Come on, somebody. Matter of fact, he's the only true ghost buster there is because there's no power over these demon spirits uh, except through Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. I'm telling you, the Holy Ghost is the original, amen, ghost buster. He's the only one that can, throw, amen, glory to God, destroy every power, amen, of any unclean spirit in your life. Addiction is not a disease, it's a spirit. Alcoholism is not a disease, it's an unclean spirit. Lesbianism is not an alternative lifestyle. It is a spirit, and it ain't holy. Likewise, homosexuality is not some different way of life. Life. Amen, my friend, it is a spirit. Somebody shout, it's unclean. It's unholy. Come on, and they ain't but one that can defeat the unholy, and it's Holy Ghost. You may be standing there, sitting there thinking, how can I get free? How can I get loose from this thing that controls me? I want you to know he's never been on a chain. Amen, and if you'll call on him and surrender to him, amen, when he chastens you, when he corrects you, he'll get you off any chain that you may be tied to. Somebody say Holy Ghost. Now God, I feel it. When he's come, he's going to reprove the world of sin. 1 Corinthians 16 and 8. Somebody shout when Holy Ghost comes. He's going to deal with sin. Always. Amen. Because how in the world can you get saved if you don't first understand you've sinned? All of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3, verse 23. Anybody here, Holy Ghost? I'll tell you, America, America don't have a terror problem. America don't even have a racial problem. America don't even have a gun problem. Come on, somebody. America's got a sin problem. Anybody here, Holy Ghost? Because God said in Proverbs 14 and 34, righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach unto any people. That means of any color. Come on, somebody, any nationality. Anybody here, Holy Ghost? Somebody shout, America's problem is not a political problem. It's not an issue of race. Come on, somebody. It's a sin problem. And I'm telling you, sin affects every person. I don't care who you are. 